Well, Gamma Knife is a form of stereotactic radio surgery, which is a non-invasive procedure to treat brain tumors and other neurologic disorders. An outpatient, one-day procedure, minimally invasive, no recovery time. And my practice has now become focused primarily on radio surgery. I think 80% of the patients with brain tumors who I treat uh, are, I'm offering radio surgery instead of the traditional open surgery. Patients may develop brain metastasis, uh, tumors in the brain from lung or breast cancer. And in the past, those patients who had, let's say, five tumors in the brain were treated with whole brain radiation. And it was very effective, but unfortunately, it led to cognitive problems like memory disturbance and personality disorder. And luckily, radio surgery has now replaced whole brain radiation as a treatment for these patients. So this is an example of where we have two effective therapies. One is whole brain and one is gamma knife radio surgery. But gamma knife radio surgery wins in almost all those patients because of less toxicity, less, fewer side effects on the brain. Jewish Hospital is the only center in Cincinnati that offers gamma knife radio surgery and the only gamma knife within 50 miles of, of downtown. Well, Gamma Knife has the highest accuracy, 0.3 millimeter accuracy, of any technology that delivers stereotactic radio surgery. And it achieves that partly because of the frame that we place on the patient's head for the radio surgery, and partly because of the characteristics of the gamma radiation. We know that patients who undergo Gamma Knife, for example, for a brain tumor from lung or breast, that 80% of the time, we can eradicate their tumor with the gamma knife radio surgery. And if, heaven forbid, a tumor develops down the road, a new tumor, we can have them come back and do another treatment. And sometimes we do have to do two or three treatments in order to control the brain disease. If you talk to a gamma knife patient, uh, nearly all of them will tell you that the day of the pr procedure was very easy for them to go through. Uh, when they go home, they're oftentimes able to do other activities. Some people even go to lunch after this procedure, so it's minimally invasive.